Hey everybody, Gene Summy here. We produced a video just a few days ago that has resulted in a lot of phone calls uh, to the office and stimulated a lot of conversation, primarily about why flashing corners are necessary and how these corners can be used. And I'm glad the video was watched, and I certainly am glad that uh, people are calling and asking these questions. So, you know, thanks a lot. Let's tackle them one at a time. First, why flashing corners are important. I'm going to show you a little mock-up here. We're concerned about this fish mouth. If you only have membrane and no strength in this corner as a heavy 24 pound window goes to sit on this, we're worried about this area right here. Additionally, as the windows move side to side to get it uh, to plumb up and square up and set your reveals, we're worried that the heavy window can damage that bitchethane or your peel and stick membrane that would be here. With a flashing corner in place, uh, we protect this area that's very vulnerable. This is a very strong piece of material that will protect against fish mouths and protect against uh, the abrasion that could happen when the windows move side to side. Also, just the landing of the window into the rough opening, particularly if you're working off a of scaffolding. Uh, a heavy window lands into the rough opening, and as it slid into place, the materials can get damaged, and the flashing corners can go a long way uh, towards protecting you from that. So, here we go. Uh, if you have any questions, boy, if, and you have had questions, if you have any more questions, call us anytime, 800-310-7673. We really appreciate it. You can shoot us an email, info at tlslabs.com. Uh, call us anytime, shoot us an email anytime. Thank you very much for your support. Here is our flush mount wood framed rough opening. And if you've watched any of our videos, you recognize it. First, we're applying a bib so that building paper can be applied later. Now here's a large lightning flash XL corner. If you have a wood window and you want a larger flashing corner, consider this one. Here's the smaller lightning flash corner designed for aluminum and vinyl windows. The corner is simply stapled in place on top of the bib. And now we're going to apply our peel and stick, in this case, Protecto Wrap waterproof membrane. You'll notice that Epi is J-rollering his material onto the substrate and applying staples across the top edge. Next, he is going to use a razor knife and apply two vertical slices into his protector wrap so that it will layer nicely onto the framing sill. And then again, he J-rollers his material onto the substrate. Now it's time for end dams. We simply cut two rectangular pieces of the protector wrap, layer them into place, put a very simple cut into the material, and fold the end dams into place. It's very easy. A nicely applied end dam will look just like this. And notice that at that lower corner, there's no seams in the material. After you or your guys have done this a few times, you'll find it's very simple, easy, and quick. If you need a good J-Roller, you can give us a call or check out the links and the information below this video. But as you can tell, we think J-rolling is very important. Next, the upper corners are positioned with a little sealant behind them, just before we apply the side flashing. We do apply sealant behind the upper corners simply because of the amount of water that can build up at the top of a window. Notice that B has applied two horizontal slices and rolled the protecto wrap into the rough opening so that it looks just like this. On the left side, we've held the protecto wrap back to where it's flush with the trimmer. To me, it doesn't matter which way you want to do it. Either way is just fine. You can roll your protecto wrap into the rough opening or hold it flush to the outside. This is a horseshoe shim that we've snipped so that it will fit nicely underneath the window. What Epi's doing is marking a position three inches on the right and left of the lower nail fin. And this will be areas where we will not apply sealant. Now we're using a high quality polyurethane sealant. We're gonna put a nice plump bead of sealant toward the outboard edge of the nail fin to ensure that we have squeeze out 
round all points on the window. This is how a properly applied sealant bead should look. Notice the gaps in the sealant in the lower right and left. And when your sealant is correctly applied, you'll see squeeze out that should look just like this. Now we apply the top flashing, J roll of the material flat. And you'll see us with two different strategies on this window. On the right, we're going to use a buttered sealant method. Epi has radiused his putty knife so that the sealant kicks up nicely against the window. And he butters his sealant nice and flat so it should look just like this. This is a great way of sealing a window. We received a lot of phone calls from people that want to apply a waterproof membrane on top of their nail fin. And if this is the way that you would like to flash your windows, then this is how we would do it. Tool off your excess sealant, cover your screws with it, then apply your peel and stick membrane on top of the nail fin, J roller it nice and flat, and then at the edge of your nail fin against the window, you're going to apply a bead of sealant, just in case you have wrinkles, that will stop any water from getting in behind your waterproof membrane, just like Epi is doing here. It's worth noting that if this is the way you want to flash your windows, then you should apply the side flashing before the top flashing is applied. Epi tools is sealant in such a way that we do not obstruct the paths of least resistance at the lower nail fins. This is where water will escape should it get trapped in our system. Now to terminate the inside of our pan, Epi is applying sealant all the way across the bottom of the window and six to eight inches up each side. You'll see here is a clear plastic piece, 90 degree plastic. This is one way to seal the inside. He is pressing that into the wet sealant and it finishes off looking just like this. This does a great job of pressing the sealant underneath the window and creating a very nice finished look. The other way is to simply tool the sealant with your finger. In any event, the inside of your window should look just like this. Now there's some great expansion foams designed for window and door use. They do not over expand. They're minimal expansion foams. We think it's a great idea to finish off your window three sides with expansion foam, just like you see Epi doing here. No more? Okay, this will complete it. You've just seen a great way to install windows using methods and materials that are proven to eliminate rain-related leaks. Thanks a lot, and thanks to our friends at Sunshine Supply.